Hello everyone and welcome back to my video blog. Today I'm going to share with you how to select a property where you can build a detached ADU. Many of you have enjoyed the video blog that I have talked about everything related to the ADU, the assembly bill, the Senate bill, and how you can make money uh, on the cash flow basis. You can convert to a non-cash flow uh, a property to a cash flow property. Okay, so and today I'm going to sh share with you how to determine whether a property is conducive for a detached ADU. I don't want to talk about you know how to convert a garage to an ADU, um, uh, or you know to do a uh, attached ADU, which is half size of the main house. Okay, so this main house is 1,800 square feet. Half size is 900 square feet for a attached ADU or a JADU, uh, which is a space within the main house. Let's say that, you know, uh, you block off the family room with a new wall and and you provide, you know, um, a where they can have a sleeping space, a living space, plus kitchen, okay? Let's say 350 square feet, you know, studio. So I know I'm talking about that type of determination, which is not in this context. I'm talking about a detached ADU where most city allow you to build up to 1200 square feet. And with the new state law um, from 2022, you can build uh, up to 2000, no, I'm sorry, 2023, you can uh, build up to 18 feet high, which is two story. Before it's 16 uh, feet high, which you know doesn't allow you to have a roof and anything like that. So uh, the 18 feet high, you can build a two story. Okay, so with a two story, 1200 square feet um, ADU, you can actually squeeze in um, efficiently a four bedroom, uh, two to three bath. Okay, so um, this is what I'm gonna talk about. And today I'm gonna share with screen with you how you can search for it and how can you determine for it. Okay, it'd be long, but I hope that you can bear with me. I'm going to share screen today so you will see it, you know, how to search it. Okay, so um, you can see the screen. Today I'm using uh, realtor.com. You can use, you know, um, different sites, you know, uh, including my own website. So uh, this is uh, something that, you know, you can use it. Um, today I'm going to look at West Covina, where I live. Okay, and these are the property that is available on the market. So I have a 670,000 square uh, dollars with 1,200 square feet. Uh, it's a foreclosure, interesting, okay. Uh, 880, 12, 1,600 square feet. Um, 829, 1,300 square feet. And then uh, this one has a pool. So I don't recommend that, uh, to look at any pool home because you know you cannot build on it. If you're gonna build on it, you are gonna spend Fifteen twenty thousand dollars just on filling the pool, and you might not be able just to fill the pool. Nowadays, some uh, uh, municipality require you to actually to remove the whole pool. Actually, you know to have jackhammer and you know, all the good night and you know, ev everything out before they uh, they can allow you to fill up the pool. Okay, so I don't recommend it. And then uh, we have a this one I know is a fix upper, and then. Um, this one is a pending too, but the, the lot is kind of a little bit smaller. This one has a decent size, 7,600 uh, square foot lot. And this one has a 9,200 square foot lot. Definitely it can build a detached ADU. So let me go back down to a smaller one. And this is uh, uh, this one, which is a fixed upper. I know about it. If a fixed upper is at 2516 East Walnut Creek Parkway. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it. And you have three bedroom, two bath, 1,500 square feet. Okay, so this is the address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this address. I want to find out, you know, uh, what is the measurement of the uh, lot? Because right here, I know the 7682, but I don't know the measurement. Uh, let's see if I can find the detail here on on this one. How many, uh, how many, how many things are that? Nope. It does not have the information like uh, you know I have on the motor police thing site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the Los Angeles Assessor uh, uh, site where I can do a map search. So this is how I do it. Okay, and I'm going to do 
Los Angeles. Well, you can you can Google San Bernardino County or Orange County, you know, the same thing. And this one come up, you see parcel map view, okay? So I click on it, I see map search. I click on map search. I already copy the address, so make it easy. You don't have to remember. You find find address or place, you type, you copy it into it. It come up. Okay, this is the property, right? So you click on the property and you see get parcel details. You click on that one. You see that stock tax status is delinquent on that particular house. I, I say that it's a fix upper. So, and how you find out what is the lot size, okay? So lot size, you can scroll down and that give you a lot size, okay? So yeah, it's indeed 1,525 square feet, okay? And the lot size is 64 feet wide by 120 feet uh, deep, okay? So the next step is going to use Google Map. So I'm going to go Google Map and I'm going to copy and paste and I already uh, uh, copy. So I'm going to paste this one, search. Okay, come up, right? Okay. So we have a satellite view on that one. So we can uh, click on the search you know, the, the magnifier, okay? So you, you can pinpoint, but in particular that one, you can pinpoint. Okay, so it pinpoints show up here and you can zoom in. Okay, so after zooming in, I wanna determine, uh, you know, how big is whatever lap. I know this is 64 feet wide, right? So I don't have to, to measure this one, so I already know 64 feet wide, but I want to see if there is enough uh, uh, room in the back uh, to build a detached ADU or 1,200 square feet uh, on a single story. I want to leave some room, and then I build a two story, you know, with a 600 square foot uh, first floor and 600 square foot uh, top floor, which can accommodate, you know, um, I say roughly uh, 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 the four bedroom, you can do that. Okay. So, uh, let's determine this way. You click on that one, uh, right click, uh, left click, I believe. Oh, okay. Let's see. So it's roughly here. So I can see it's roughly 30, 34 feet. Okay. From the, the existing, uh, the back of the garage, uh, to the border is 34 feet. So the, um, the law say that, you know, uh, you need to have four feet setback or, and four feet on the side. Okay. So the setback need to be four feet and the distance between two buildings is 10 feet. So, uh, 34 minus four is 30 minus 10 is 20. So you can have, um, a 20 feet deep, uh, house by, you know, what, you know, you have 64 here. So in minus eight you know, four on each side, eight. So 64 mi minus uh, eight is uh, what? 56, okay? So 56 by 56 by uh, 20, okay? So you do have enough room for a 1200 square foot uh, ADU, right? So I bring up a calculator. So you have 20 times 56, 1120. Okay, so that's plenty of room for a a uh, uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, or even you know squeeze it more, even have a four bedroom, two bath. Okay, so but if you want to leave some rooms uh, on it, so uh, you're doing a twenty somewhere here, you know by um, let's say if I, I want six hundred square feet, I want to divide by twenty, so a twenty by thirty footprint and built to a two story. Okay, so that's how you determine whether this one you can build something uh, on the property. So um, this is very simple, you know, uh, just take you, you see, take me a few minutes 
uh, to come up with uh, a determination whether I want to go ahead and make an offer to this property because this property has the potential of giving me a uh, detached ADU. I don't want to say that you know this this has an attached garage. You can also build an additional uh, attached ADU in this property. It's allowed. You are allowed to do that. This one has a long driveway, so you can park multiple car uh, on the driveway. Okay, so uh, the city will not. Uh, uh, this allow you to do that. And this one also still have a patio right here. So there's a lot of possibility, but at least I'm going to, I, sh I have shown you how to determine whether uh, a property is conducive to have a detached ADU. So until next time, uh, I, you know, after you have a chance to review uh, this, this one and play around with uh, your search, I welcome back your feedback. I look forward to hear from you. Uh, please text or email me, you know, how, how to get in touch with me. I am more than happy to provide you resources, you know, uh, architect, civil engineer, and uh, contractors, uh, and any trade people that can help you on uh, debating a new ADU, as well as converting the garage or adding on a top of the garage and, uh, or, you know, partition off some, uh, some room within a large home to be having a JADU. You know, so uh, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.